morning FC members. I uh, thought I'd do a quick demo now that the uh, app is sort of done. So first is first. I'll, um, this is me connecting through a browser as opposed to the app. So it's actually hitting the website hosted on the device. Um, because I'm hitting the website hosted on the device, the first thing I would have done is go into the network settings. Um, well, I would have connected it to a Wi-Fi network, which you can do just by scrolling through, entering your password. But anyway, I'm connected, so I don't need to do that. Uh, and then you can view your network settings, including this URL, uh, from going in here as well. So anyway, I would put those settings in. Uh, then it would try to connect, but since it's not through the mobile app, it can't actually find the device, so I need to put the URL in as well there. And the first thing that happens is, um, because I haven't logged in from this browser before, uh, it doesn't have a password, so it generates a random passcode on here that I need to enter in here. Once I've done that, I'm good for 365 days until that token that it generates expires. So anyway, I'm not going to do that because typing on you know, mobile phones can be painful. So as soon as I press a button, now that's gone. Um, that passphrase is gone forever. So anyway, uh, without further ado, let's maybe start with a demo. So I could uh, start a script by just holding this button. See, it just kicked it off. It's running a script, jump the temperature by 10 uh, degrees. I'm going to cancel that, though, because um, we don't need to run it yet, because um, I'm not ready. So anyway, first thing I guess I'm going to have a quick dab, give you a demo of that thing in action. So a uh, really nice dab, some uh, Ghost Train Haze Rosin, which is, I'm sure you guys have seen me dab before if you've watched uh, my videos before. It's a staple for me. Okay, so I could do this by the app. See, launch the app. Let's try that again. Okay, there we are. I'm not sure why I was a little slow responding. Maybe it's uh, me adding the hosting of uh, the other app on there and slowing things down. Because that's the flakiest it's been in quite a while. So it's actually been dead solid. So I'm assuming... Actually, you know what it is? I bet you it's my network connection of the Raspberry Pi. That makes total sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick my Pi off. It has nothing to do with the... Uh, the device has to do with my network and it's probably just connected to something that it shouldn't be and it's probably got a really low signal so I'm gonna kick it off um, yeah see it's got like one bar uh, barely um, so I'm just gonna force a reconnect yes yeah, connected to my router in the basement even though it's all the way out in the shop so I forced a reconnect um, yeah, see, now it's got all bars because it's connected to the one in the shop. So now we're going to see this be pretty much instantaneous. So let's do that again. Yeah, nothing like having a network connection. Okay, so there's the app. Um, I wish I could brace that up somehow. So maybe my coffee cup. Here. So there we go. So I'm going to press the button here, and you're going to see everything sort of starts up, and I'll do a dab.
I should just reset now in a second. So yeah, that was running a script. Um, looks like my timer got a little uh, ran away on itself a little bit at the end. Um, the bugs are few and far between so far at this point, especially considering how quickly this came together. Um, but it does occasionally um, not do exactly what it's supposed to. Like I'm right there, it was supposed to uh, end the script, and it looked like the script was still running. So. Um, yeah, I'm not sure that hasn't happened very often, but I have seen that a couple times. So anyway, um, not worth harping on. I'm sure there's a little something in the code there, a concurrency issue that I'll find in the coming weeks um, so that that never happens, not just almost never happens. So anyway, just to quickly go through uh, things, I showed you the menu, menus quickly on the device. Um, you can hold the button to start the scripts from the main screen. If you hold it for over five seconds, it reboots the device or restarts the program. If you hold it for more than 10 seconds, it reboots the device. Um, you can go to a script menu and then scroll through your scripts on the device uh, to select the correct uh, select the script you want. There's a settings menu, which right now just has network settings. Uh, from the network settings, you can uh, connect to a Wi-Fi network. You can view your current connection and you can save your settings which persists into the device otherwise if you connect and you screw it up if you reboot the device um, it goes back to the way it was so yeah um, the mobile app quickly um, there's quick temps so you can adjust your temperature quickly here see it just jumped to 575 go back to 475 because that's my preferred temperature um, you can turn it on and off, which I find really handy because that's what I do. I turn it off when I go uh, away, which I'm doing soon, uh, when I go inside. So um, that turns it off on the PID. So it's actually, I'm guaranteed it's never going to send electricity through to the heater. So that's good. You can scroll through your scripts that are currently there and you can run them. Um, let's turn that back on. Um, See if I hit the button here. It starts the script. I can cancel it too. Um, from the settings menu, you can enter your presets and save them. You can also uh, pick from saved presets uh, of profiles, which are you can generate from auto tuning. My big thumbs don't work great all the time. So you can generate different sets of profiles for your different devices. So for instance, I connect a new device. Um, I go to new, where I click auto tune. Boom, now it's starting to tune. So when it's done tuning, it'll have updated the PID settings here. I can hit save, um, put a name aside, beside it, and then those settings get saved to a new profile that I can then pull up at a touch of a button. And as you can see, it's in the process of tuning. It's spiking up the temperature as it does that. Um, the Omron does a wonderful job of auto-tuning. So this is pretty fucking awesome, actually. So anyway, I'm going to cancel that because I don't need to tune right now. So there we go. Uh, tuning is canceled. The other thing that's pretty cool is the script editor. So currently, um, whoops, I don't want to save the script. My big thumbs. Currently, I'm on the up 35 by 2 script so if I go to this screen that's the script that I'm editing so you can see uh, the first thing it does is there's a loop step it loops two times then there's a feedback step where it shows a drop icon it's flashing with a one second interval it plays a bell sound and the LEDs flashing with a one second interval um, then it moves the temperature by 35 degrees then it waits for the set point to be hit then there's another feedback step where it updates the icon to a cloud and stops flashing um, then there's a five second timer and then it's at the end of the loop that's below the loop and so if we go back uh, then it's back to the feedback step where it updates the icon again and starts flashing so that's the whole script and I can add and remove uh, steps 
from it. I can add a step to the loop. So let's add a timer step. Um, so it adds it at the bottom. I can move stuff around within the script. I can delete scripts. I can create new scripts. So when I create a new script, it creates a blank one for me that I can add steps to. And yeah, that's the script editor. It's pretty cool. Um, see, it wants to make sure that I want to leave because I have unsaved changes and I do want to leave. And so there we go. My changes are gone. Uh, if I go back, that's the original script I had. So pretty cool. Um, that's the entire application in a nutshell. Uh, oh yeah, you can adjust temperatures like this too. So when I let go of this, boom, temperatures at 399. There we go. So that's uh, the demo. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys all around on FC and uh, who knows, I might even figure out a way to make these so that we can get some in the hands of some community members. Um, have a good one.